Hello everyone and today I will show you a pretty cool game to be fair. And it's called Lorena and the Land of Ruins. Let's start from the latest save because as you can see the star here, it means that I passed the game through. So this is basically just a review of a random stage I basically just at random to show you because it is a really interesting game and yes the pink neko maid is the outfit i chose in this guy draha tailoring and i'm gonna show you what type of clothes can be bought from the pantsu to the pink maid uniform, made headband, black hunter outfit, knee highs, and even the hair dye. And yes, I use the pink color for the hair dye and long hair. So, just to not show you the ending of the game, I will choose the similar dungeon, however... <sighs> it will be kinda different than this, because this is, this is final dungeon of the game. And the hunt dungeons are basically just normal things, where you hunt 50 enemies and that's it. So let's go to Erut Ruins. And yes, I play on the windowed mode. Now loading. To show you how this game goes, I will basically go through this dungeon in one or two episodes. Reach the goal. And of course, on the escape we have the entire menu. Machine Manalog is basically Uzi, Handgun is basically normal gun, Scatter is a shotgun, Sniper of course, Mana Mine Slinger is Grenade Launcher, and Mana Burst Launcher is this, Rocket Launcher. And I forgot to buy all of this. All of the ammo I need to show you everything correctly because the final boss of this dungeon is a pretty hard guy. Hard guy. Well, this will be enough. Red mana bolt is always found everywhere. Let me quickly. Do this and we can go because the reminder for the training, physical training in real life came in. And Rakieta Ruins is basically Rocket Ruins, Magin Ruins, is a fortress. Flactum Ruins is the Flak Cannon, it's weak, I don't know. And Tutorial Ruins, literally, that's how they named it. Bunk ha, bunker ruins, Zeppelin ruins. All of those are real realistic. So let's go to the Erut ruins because those are Erut mines. And we see the animation again. However, there is no point. Let's go with the scope. However, I need to minimize the OPS because it would screw with my perspective. And yes, this is literally ruins of the train. One shot, one kill, no cheats, just skill. I don't see them anymore, never mind. 
And the best thing here is that you don't need to reload. So you can just go like this and shoot them if you wish to. However, I always prefer to do the safer approach. Which is... Uh, scope. It's under the fire button. And this is how you aim. I reflected his button. Bullet ball cut him by shooting it. That's how you can even counter the enemy attacks with just your own gun by shooting enemy bullets. And they will hit back at the enemies. And yes, this is basically the entrance to the dungeon. And it says to you how long you took between each checkpoint so you can speedrun this game pretty easily as well. The cat girl, but it's a furry. Demon. Destroyed and some magicians. And yes, in this game's lore, there are literally demons. And the new humans like Lorena use uh, their energy. And they are all furry because those are demons. You will see everything later, I bet, because this game's story is really interesting and I suck at explaining, which I hope will make you more curious of the game. And you have the blue dot on the minimap for the objective and where to go. Where is this guy? There is an orc, ogre, demon, whatever. Where from? I don't see it. Here, in between those, okay. It's pretty cool, it's like the Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet I showed you earlier. So let's go with the usual strategy of elimination, which is basically a Uzi and a Sniper. And of course, good dodging skills, for as long as I can do them. No.
Where are the enemies? Oh, this, this thing started attacking me. It basically feels like Quake 4, but third person. Snipe one and second monster is here. I mean a bandit. Bandits and monsters are the same thing, in my honest opinion. And yes, I'm sniping them with a um, grenade launcher, and it is a sticky grenade launcher as well. Dokkan? Whoops. Let's use handgun for now. Although it's harder to frame, I also have a lot of ammo for a handgun. When the self reflected bullet destroyed him. And the fact that the colors are not red means the enemies are on the lower elevation. And this is basically a drop down bomb, like you see now. Shoot it and it eliminates enemies for you. Cablamo. And yes, there are Pantsu here. There is no black voids. So this is not a Cloud Sushpap inclusive New World Order piece of trash, but a good game instead. Literally good game. And we see a uh, ruins of an excavator. And this, I believe, is the RPG you need. Or other explosives also work. Dokkan? And those automatons are from the Zeppelin also. In the Zeppelin they are guards. And here they are just controlling the excavators that survived. Let's just shoot him with a handgun. This Mark 28 auto excavator can be talked to. My job, dig crystals. I work for humans. 
Do, 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 do. What are a humans? Good question. But this auto excavator seems relatively peaceful, so let's not bother him. Another one here. Let's talk to him. Master Harris orders. This month's output twice last month's. Can do this. Make something up. And of course there is lava in this game. So I'm showing you my great bunny hopping skills from the death run shorts that, that I did on this channel back in the day when the server still existed. Oh, another! Let's talk to him as well. Are you human? Um, I... human? Uh, no, no. Samishas. And yes, you can literally do this POV whenever you want. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's basically a different part of this game, which is kinda cool. And this Haguruba, I mean, gears look pretty cool, not gonna lie to you. Oh, there is an enemy. I think it's a turret here. No, those are automatons. Turrets are on the Zeppelin. Now let's figure out how to jump around with this. Whoops. Falling into lava is instant death as you can see. Oh, I reset the cycle by falling into the lava. All works out. And then out several more laser jumps. And it will be GG. We came through here. Hmm. Now time for the laser dodger. That teaches you the final boss mechanics that final boss uses. And of course the boss of this dungeon also uses. C for crouch. And yes, there is crouching in this game, this is not a, a shit game. And I think we are coming to the final boss, right here. The double cord AI. Beep beep, how was the mining this week, Harry? Very well, do, do, do. it was an excellent week, Danny. I am sure our human masters await the ores we've excavated with bated breath. 3000 years ago. We cannot afford do, do, do. the slightest delay. My calculations suggest we will reach our stated quota without difficulty. Yes, I'm sure they must be beside themselves with impatience. We are at war after all. We must excavate Passer and Passer and send the factory all the work it needs, Harry. Beep beep beep. For humanity's inevitable victory. For humanity's inevitable victory. By the way, Danny, do you suppose that's a human over there? It's also rare for them to come pay us a visit. 
According to my logs, the last time was 1327 years, 8 months, 6 days, 7 hours, 32 minutes and 4 seconds ago. Oh, how horrid is your caloric spectrometer malfunctioning, Harry? That's no human, that's the enemy. Enemy, 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 enemy. Bibi, bibi, enemy, enemy. Enemy, bibi, the enemy must be bibi eliminated. Here comes the final boss of this dungeon. What is that thing? It's huge! It's AI, literally AI. I guess it might be the boss of all the ancient weapons in this ruin. I hate to do this, but I have to break it, or it might break me. I'm taking the it on. Whoop, 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 whoop. Lasers. Oh boy. Now we can dodge fully everywhere. It's like a Dark Souls but with bullets. Oops. Ancient curative obtained. Now let's use the RPG for now. One of the cannons destroyed. The laser bro blocked the RPG bullet. There is one more artillery remaining in the back row. Twin type auto miner control uni. Whoa, my RPG is strong. I remember upgrading it, but to this point, I thought it would be lower damage than halving its HP literally. However, with that, the dungeon is complete. Thanks to my overpowered RPG. Phew, that was a close one, but it worked out in the end. Yeah. And even those two anti-infantry units were hard. Harder than usual. Let me show you a curious thing. It says LN here. Which I believe means League of Nations. Or in real life, United Nations. However, since I completed this dungeon earlier, and I'm just literally showing you the dungeon in its full glory, several times more than needed. And... It's GG. Expedition Assessment Red Rise 1, Rank S, which is Upgrade And it's basically doubling the total reward that I have Person defeated, 100 It's taken 9, Red Rise 1 And my accuracy rate is big 66% literally Almost 70%.
which means only two thirds of my bullets didn't hit. So that will be all for this review and gameplay of Lorena and the Land of Ruins. What do you guys think? I hope you can let me know in the comments below, but for now, thank you everyone for watching. And I hope you will eventually upvote, comment and subscribe. Bye bye.